The laboratory is a little different environment than the classroom, and so we have a few laboratory safety rules. In laboratories, you are likely to be exposed to either fire or hazardous chemicals. In this particular lab, we will not use open flame or any heat sources, and your exposure to chemicals will be very minimal. We still want to observe certain safety rules to make sure that you don't accidentally pick up anything you don't really want. One of the things that you want to do when you come to lab is only bring to your lab table those things that you really need. Keep all other items in your book bag. Because there is a slight possibility that there are chemicals on the table and in the environment, you want to put nothing in your mouth while you're in lab. So there is absolutely no eating or drinking in the laboratory. It is important to dress appropriately. You must wear shoes at all times, preferably closed-toed shoes, so if you drop anything, your toes are protected. There may be tiny slivers of glass on the floor from times when glassware was broken, so it's important that you keep your feet protected. Dangly jewelry, fringe on clothing, any extra loose fabric in the sleeves can act to hang on things and pull models off the table as well as hurting you while they're pulling models off the table. Same is true of long hair. It's a good idea to keep that tied back while you're in the laboratory. Please report all accidents to the instructor, no matter how minor they are. Also report any damaged equipment to the instructor. There are different kinds of trash in laboratories. Most of our trash will be regular trash, that is plain old paper that you'll put in the regular trash cans that are located around the room. On occasion, we may work with body fluids or blood. If that happens, then we're going to have to have special biohazard containers. Those will be pointed out to you in the event that we need them. Also, any kind of sharp item, like a needle or broken glass, goes into a special container. If you have to dispose of anything like broken glass, please let your instructor assist you with that so that it gets into the correct container. There are safety equipment items in the lab. One is the fire extinguisher. There is also an eye wash and a safety shower. These you use if you get anything in your eyes or get a large quantity of chemicals on you. You probably will not have any need to use these in this laboratory. Please notice all of the emergency exits from the laboratory. These would be used in the case of fire or any kind of situation where we needed to leave the laboratory in a hurry. At all exits to buildings, there are fire alarms. If you are exiting the building because of a fire, pull the fire alarm. All this will do is turn on an alarm for that building so that other people are aware that they need to evacuate the building. It does not automatically call the fire department. If you pull the fire alarm and you really need a fire truck, you need to call the police department, the Pensacola State College Police Department. That number is 484-2500. That will get the dispatcher who can then send a fire truck to your location. You would also use this number if you need to report theft or any kind of activity that may require a police officer. While you may see some interesting things and you may want to share this with people in your family, we cannot allow visitors to the laboratory. For your safety, before you leave the laboratory every day, please disinfect the table. There is a solution of back down and a spray bottle on your table. Simply spray that on the surface that you have used and wipe it down with paper towels. Those paper towels can go in a regular trash can. Also wash your hands. While you will not come directly in contact with any kind of chemicals, people who have handled the models before you may have had chemicals on their hand or may simply have had a cold virus or a flu virus on their hand. Since you're going to be handling models that have been handled by hundreds of other people, it's a good idea to wash your hands before you leave lab. And finally, please push in your chairs. This makes the lab look neat, but it also helps our lab assistant when she goes in to change out labs. If she has to spend time pushing in chairs, it takes more time for her to do her job.